All right, guys, welcome back to the channel today. It's pretty exciting because we're back at an auto auction and uh, there's another RV we're gonna look at. So we just fixed one and then our buddy actually wants one. So we've been looking around and this thing was gonna be playing. It's a 2020 or 2021 F53 Tifton. That's a really nice one. So we drove all the way up to Illinois to check it out because you gotta check it out before you buy it. It's some high dollar, but we're gonna have to play it and we wanna look at it. So let's go ahead and check it out and see if it's worth it. All right, so here we have a 2018. It's a Tifton open road. So it's it's actually a really high-end one. It is the same one like we just had, same engine, same chassis, but I think this one has the upgraded suspension. It's like a $20,000 option. It's uh, on airbags or something like that, or hydraulic. And you can see it's sitting a lot lower compared to one like this, we're sitting a lot higher. So just the suspension is gonna make it ride so much better. But this one definitely has a lot of damage. Um, it is posted as an engine start, not a run and drive. So most likely the, the drive shaft is disconnected and they just had to get it towed. But look at that little badge, really nice interior. We'll check it out later. Let's go ahead and check out this side. Um, this slide looks like it's all scratched up. The cabinets are all scratched up. Let's see if they're open. Oh, everything is locked. So maybe the keys are inside, we're gonna have to look, but let's keep checking it out. So this awning looks like it's ripped, but the glass looks okay. Awning, we could probably just put it back together. This tire looks like it's flat. Maybe just needs some air, maybe needs a new tire. Maybe it has a blowout, maybe some dirt got in there. And then we start coming to this slide. So the wall gave out. Who knows what happened? But definitely water's been getting inside. That's not good. Definitely needs a lot of work, but we did it. It shouldn't be that hard. All these panels are definitely fixable. And then we got the back panel in it completely ripped off. Yeah, remember all these welds are not the craziest. Look at that aluminum. Just barely welded and ripped off. All these little self tappers. So it's not put together it's extremely tight and hard. So it's not that hard to put it back together. But it's gonna definitely need a full paint job. We could do like a custom color. Who knows? But well, depending on how much it goes, but this is valued pretty high, so you know it's it's almost worth doing it. All right, so now we come to the driver's side, and this slide is poking out. So there is the wall that's supposed to be right here. It is broken. Like I said, these welds are not that strong, and all of it, you know, once it comes apart, it'll come apart pretty easy. Definitely a lot of mess inside, but this thing's definitely been sitting outside. It's not been really covered up. Not really a good thing, but it's all fixable. So let's keep going. This slide, we can get back in. Um, looks like we should be able to drive this thing. Like this side, look at that, how it just ripped apart. Look at those welds. Like I said, we can re-weld it, make it a lot better. There's a shower right there. And then the rest of it looks looking pretty good. This awning, this slide out's good. This front wheel's good. Looks like suspension's all good. Looks like maybe just the headlights from the hit broke off the tabs because everything is glued. But not too bad. We're gonna have to see what it goes for and hopefully pick it up. So there is no power. Nothing. The front looks pretty good. It's got a nice TV. So no bunk bed like mine. Fancy seats. Really nice. Got like a radio. Got the backup camera leveling. And here is the, the custom suspension. So really nice generator. It's got power. Auxiliary start. Don't hear any noise, but whatever. Let's check out this interior. So that that seats are there. Definitely a lot of stuff fell apart. It's got a little kitchen. A lot of little damage everywhere. Roof a little bit right there. There's that slide out. That's supposed to be 
straight. Look at all those wires. It looks a little uh, intimidating, but it's actually not too bad. And I don't think I can get all the way back there, but other than that, definitely better than I thought in pictures. All right, guys, so after checking this thing out, there's a buy now price on it for like 21,000 and we're gonna click it because I think it's definitely worth it. The keys are there, we're gonna start it up, we're gonna drive it out of the yard and then we're gonna fix it up a little bit because actually there's a gas station right there, truck stop. So not too bad. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll get this thing paid for, get the paperwork and hit the road. All right, so we got it paid for, got the paperwork, now we can leave. Got the keys to start right up. We just threw one strap in the back so we can pull out of here, nothing's gonna fall. And then we'll fix everything on the gas station right there. So we can't work here, which makes sense. Let's get this thing started and let's go. All right, so there's Copart and here's a parking lot. So as you guys heard, the exhaust, the cat was cut out. So we got a exhaust pipe. We're gonna clamp it. And then for the headlights, we're gonna try to epoxy it. Cause this thing is missing. That's gonna be the way too loud. Converter. Somebody, somebody's get cashing out. And then we got a couple things we gotta tie down, make sure nothing is flapping. We got a mirror we're gonna put on. Lights are gonna be good. The brake lights are working. And this thing be ready to hit the road. Oh, we got to fill up a tire. But pretty exciting. Let's get straight to work because it's going to get dark soon and go from there. All right, so actually what I did for the headlights, I actually pushed them forward into the pocket and they are holding really good. They're actually in there really good. And hopefully they're going to be pointing straight. Got them hooked up to the mirror. And we are, I'm gonna probably redo this one, but I'm ready to put the mirror on. So we got a little bit of glass we're gonna put on there so we can kind of see, because it's important to have a mirror. So let's go ahead and get that installed and see how that turned out. All right, so there is my mirror. You can see, you got the little blind spot. Plus we got a window to see. I taped it up so we have no wind. Well, whatever, anyways, I made it, it's looking good. Now let's check the headlights so the turn signals are working. The low beams right there, we'll see how it is. Maybe I'll have to bend that a little bit. But uh, yeah, this side is looking good. All the lights even here are working. That's a good sign. We got lights back here. 
And we got tail lights, so. We got brake lights, tail lights. We got turn signals. Everything's looking good. We're almost ready to hit the road. All right, so there we go. We got the exhaust on. I think we're ready for an uh, official test drive. Well, we gotta fill up some air and then we can hit the road. Alright, so this tire was flat, but it seems like it's filling it up. We're gonna get a tire gauge, make sure we put probably like 80 pounds in this thing. And this thing's not heavy, and then we'll check all the tire pressure, make sure everything's good. And then we're gonna drive a little bit, pull over, and double check everything. Because last thing we need to do, or we need, is a blowing out tire. Because these things aren't cheap, and they can delay us, because we have no tools to take this thing off. Let's fill them up, and go on the road. All right, so we took a nice hot shower. We're all cleaned up, ready to hit the road. Ivan, what do you think about your purchase? Are Sad. you happy? <laughs> yeah. Definitely better than you thought? Definitely more loaded than I thought. Loaded, yeah. So definitely, it's like the MSRP is definitely higher than we thought, which is good because it's got a lot of damage, but definitely can be everything can be fixed. Let's go ahead and hit the road because it's getting dark and make sure everything is good. So we're going to drive maybe like 30 miles, hit the gas station, and we'll be good to go. Electric window. Too many options, man. Too many options. All right, so it's actually been almost 400 miles since the last stop and everything's doing good. The headlights are pointing good. Our mirror is turning out really nice. I can use it. I can see stuff behind me. All the tires are looking good. They're not getting hot. It's actually steering pretty good, pretty straight. Nothing's flapping and it actually sounds pretty good inside. You don't really hear the wind noise from all this. And we got a car in the back. All these tires are are good. The suspension on this thing, it rides actually way smoother than mine. It is expensive and it is like what, hydraulic or something. You can go up and down with it. You can go like comfort, sport. I was driving on sport first and then I got a comfort and it definitely could feel a difference. And it just does it on the fly. So that's pretty cool. We're almost back. We still got about three hours to go. We're almost in Knoxville, but uh, it's getting there. It's a nice little RV. Let's hit a couple more hours and we'll be back home in the morning.
All right, just like that, we made it back to the shop. What, roughly, what, six to 700 miles? It did really good. The headlights, the mirrors, everything's intact. The bottom, it's looking good. And here's where they're gonna fix it. So, pretty exciting that, you know, we had no other issues. The tires all came good. The cruise control was working. The lights are shining good. We weren't wearing the tires, nothing like that. Everything in the back was strapped up good. Nothing flinging. Definitely happy with this little road trip we did. All right, just like that, we are done, you guys. So leave us a comment what you guys think. Should we help him rebuild this thing or he's got it? But leave us a comment and we'll catch you guys next time.